Hello friends, today let's solve the max points on a line. We are given n points and we need to find the maximum number of points that lie on the same straight line. In example 1, we will find all of these three points are in the same line, so we return 3. In the example 2, we will find the max point in a line is these four points, so we return 4. And you may notice that uh, these points are not sorted, they are just random. So they may have the duplicate point. This is the one thing we need to notice. Uh, our algorithm is just to iterate all the points and uh, then iterate the rest points to find the max point on the same line with that point. So let's see. Actually, this is just a brute force algorithm, and the time complexity should be big O n square. And we have two for loop. Uh, on the outer loop, we iterate every point, and in the inner loop, and for every point, we need to calculate the slope and their corresponding points, because if we are given one slope and one point, we can only uh, confirm one line. So that means for every point, we iterate the rest of the point. And we will see whether this slope has existed before. If it has existed before, we know this point belongs to the same point that the previous two points uh, points line. So that means we need a data structure to record the slope and their corresponding points. And because we may have the same points, so we need to record uh, whether this point have existed before. So the best way to check whether this point have existed before, we can use a hash set. Okay, this is two data structure we need to use. Uh, and uh, for this slope, we may note that uh, actually they have three cases. One case is these two points are parallel to the y-axis. Uh, at this time, the slope is just a double, actually this double dot max value. And the case two is that these two points are parallel to the x-axis. So the slope currently is zero. And uh, in the common cases, we just need to calculate their slope. We use the difference of this y and uh, divide the difference of the x. So wrap up. The main part is a big O n square time complexity algorithm. We iterate the point and we try to get the number of points in the same line with the current point. And for every point, we use a hash map. And for the global, we use a hash set to record the points. And we need to maintain a global max points. And for every point, we need to maintain a local max. That means the max points in the same line with current point. And the Otherwise, we need, uh, no, uh, I mean, moreover, we need two other functions, which is get slope for a given two points. And we check whether these two points is the same. This is a Boolean function. Okay, now let's write the code. First, uh, first, do some edge case check. We first get the points, the length. If this n is less than two, we just return n. Because if this is 0 or 1, we, we know that's the max point on a same line. Otherwise, we need to maintain a set. We use a string because that is easier. Hash set to mark one specific point. And we need to maintain global max. So here, its minimum value will be 1 because this n is great or equal than 2. That means at least one point is on a line. Then we iterate all the points i less than an i plus plus. 
and we can do one thing to fast this algorithm that is if this point we have made before we do not need to calculate it again so when the only when the set do not contain this point zero plus the high hypergen <laughs> okay this points i1 if it doesn't contain it we calculate otherwise we do not need to calculate so for every so we get a current point that will be points i and we need to calculate it's the same point so currently the same points is zero and we also need a map t is double and the value is integer hash map, hash map. and we also need a local max so currently it at least is one because they already have one point then we iterate the rest part j less than n j plus plus so we check whether these two points are the same points j if it's the same we know same should uh, increment by one and uh, we continue if not the same we get the slope that will be get slope a and the uh, points j we update the map so we put the slope and the map get or default the slope so if we haven't made this slope before the default value should be one because this map actually uh, maps to the number of the points in this line so at least it's one so you see if it, this slope we haven't seen it before we will put that slope and the two otherwise if we see a new point we will increment by one so that means there are three points in that slope okay so we update this local max will be mass local max and there will be map get this slope so out of this for loop we need to put this you know we add this current uh, points a0 plus plus a1 and uh, we update this max will be mass max max and the local max plus sin because they may have the duplicate points so finally we return this max now we need to write uh, two other simple function a sin two point okay we need to return a0 equal to b0 and a1 equal to b1 okay that will get its slope for two point if they are parallel to the y axis that means a0 equal to b0 we return double dot max value if a1 equal to b1 that means they are parallel to the x uh, axis so we return zero otherwise we need to calculate that will be double because at first they are integer we need to convert them to the double type so b0 and uh, um, that will be double double and uh, a1 minus b1 okay so that will be okay I missed a uh, close parenthesis
Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.